Good morning, gang. Happy Sunday morning from a beautiful East Tennessee. How many of y'all remember saying these words in your life? Maybe multiple times. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Standard, typical wedding vows. Okay. There's a lot of truth to those words when it comes to prepping and just life in general. Because in any sort of SHTF situation, we're going to count on other people. No matter how self-sufficient we are, no matter how independent we are, we are going to need other people. And on the flip side, other people are going to need us. Now, that also comes into play in normal times. Okay? <laughs> what you can call we're going through right now normal. All right, so be it. It's no secret to anybody that what we are going through right now in the entire world, for all intents and purposes, is a complete complete fuster clock, all right? Economically, threat of war, whole nine yards. And there are a lot of people struggling out there, all right? Be it financially, be it mentally, be it with family. I mean, hell, we all have experienced with if you're blue, you don't want to talk to people on red and vice versa. You know, friendships have dissolved over the 2020 election or over the vaccine mandates or whatever. I mean, it's, it's just the way things are. You know, we're in a situation right now, okay, in the whole world, where more and more people are finding out exactly what it's like to hit financial rock bottom. Been there, done that, okay? And I will tell you this <laughs> unequivocally. It sucks, all right, when you can't afford food, when the best you can do is afford to rent a room in somebody's house because that's all you got, okay? We got to get through it, okay? And the one thing I will tell everybody is just like any sort of SHTF situation that we are going to face, like I said, whether it be economic, whether it be war, whatever it would be, whether it be personal, it ain't going to last forever, okay? We will come out the other side. Now, I mean, sure, there are, you know, two things in life that are guaranteed again, death and taxes. You are going to have people die. That is permanent. <laughs> they aren't coming back. All right, not, not going into that part. But we will come out the other end, no matter, you know, even if it's a bankruptcy, a divorce, whatever. The initial shock, shame, whatever, is going to really take a toll on you, all right? Mentally, physically, whole nine yards. But, but it will end, okay? And you have to know there is that light at the end of the tunnel. You know, you just... You keep taking it day by day. You keep striving to get out of the situation. But where I say this, and this is because of what's going on right now, you know, don't be ashamed to ask for help, okay? Don't be ashamed to be willing to accept a, a, a hand up, okay? Not a hand out, a hand up. We, we all know that one too, okay? You know, way too many people in this world think living off the government is the way to go. That's a hand out, okay? Hand up is totally different. That's helping somebody, you know? Depending on where you are, if you are in a situation where you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. On the flip side... If you are in a position where you are able to help someone else, do it, all right? Be kind to those other people. 
again, not everybody deserves it. You're going to have to make, you know, your decision, your best judgment on whether the person is struggling is do, is struggling because of their own stupidity, okay? You know, gee, I'd rather take my vacation and buy a, a new boat than prep. Oh, no, we're hungry. Okay, you know, now I'm not... Uh, it's, sorry, you go sell your boat first, okay? But there are plenty of people out there right now who are good people who are struggling through no fault of their own. Okay. Their company may have closed, their spouse may have died, you know, the major breadwinner in the house may have died, somebody may have got sick, whatever. It could be you. I mean, we are all, regardless of how wealthy you are, regardless of how prepped you are, whatever, whatever we are all one crisis away from chaos in our lives, right? I mean, right now, if something happened to me and I wasn't here anymore, Mrs. P would be, holy crap, what do I do? I mean, again, you got to remember, here she is in a foreign country. I mean, even though she's an American citizen, okay. But in a foreign country with no family, I mean, friends, yes, and uh, that would help her. But all of a sudden what's up you know i mean this is it so if you have the ability to help somebody out even if it's something simple okay i mean bag of seeds okay pound of, pound of ground beef whatever it would be because you know hey you notice their fridge is empty or something like that take them a care package you know something like that that's called humanity. That's called being a good person. However, don't do it with any expectations. I mean, there's, we've all seen this too. Gee, if I'm going to do something for them, they better do something for me. And in an SHTF situation, that is very true. Okay, don't get me wrong. Somebody's just not going to come into my area of operations in SHTF and go, I'm hungry, and I'm going to go, here, here's food, okay? Different scenario. I'm talking about now, normal times, all right? And, you know, so do this, you know, if you, if you have the ability, if you're, if you're on the side where you're not the one struggling, help somebody out, you know? Don't, don't attach yourself to what they do with it, okay? You, do your good deed, help them out, whether it's, you know, food or walk their dog or, you know, gee, somebody's in a wheelchair right now and their dog isn't getting any exercise. You know, they broke their leg. Great. Offer to take the dog out for a while or for a walk or something like that. <coughs> It'll mean the, the world of difference to them even though it's something that's very trivial to you, but you are making a huge difference in somebody's life. It's good training for what we are going to have to do in an SHTF situation. We are going to have to, like it or not, ask for help from other people in an SHTF situation. And like it or not, believe it or not, we are going to have to offer help to other people too. You're much better off getting in that mindset now. Be thankful for what you have. Be willing to share a little bit of it with those that are rightfully deserving. I, I'm going to over you know, qualify that many, many, many times. But if you have the ability help somebody out. If you're in need, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed to ask for help. Being good people, let's say being good Christians, be good Jews, or be good Hindus, or anything like that. I don't think this goes into any sort of religious type deal. This is just being a good human being. 
We all need help in one way or another. Don't be afraid to ask for it. Be amazed. There are still good people in this world. Not as many as before, but they still exist. Have a good Sunday morning. Pinball out.